We're here in southwest Wyoming working on a, a mule deer study where we've radio collared 25 mule deer does. And right now, this time of year, we're in, in early June and we're walking around locating these does and trying to document if they have a fawn with them. I figured we'd try to do a couple of easy ones first, or hopefully easy ones. She's fairly close, actually. I think we'll drive up this little two-track right here, see if we can get above her and triangulate across. And that's really important for the production of these deer herds when we're managing is um, try to figure out what our recruitment of, of young deer is, um, how many of those deer we're bringing into the population as adults to uh, become breeding members and, and contribute to the populations. Well, that's as good as we'll get on her. That was, that was pretty much ideal. That's the hard part with this whole process is, you know, today we might try six different deer and we'd be lucky if we got a good visual on a couple, three of them. And, you know, my profession's something that in the wildlife field you really get into this because you love it. It's not something you get into to make a lot of money um, or for professional success. It's, it's really something that you, you do just because you love the resource, you, you want to give back, you want to do something good for the landscape and, and the wildlife that's out there. And a lot of us just really enjoy being outdoors. And, um, you know, this is the view from your office, you can't beat that. This is a profession I got into because my my dad instilled a love of the outdoors in me and, and hunting was a big part of my upbringing. And being in this profession allows me to um, help perpetuate that for future generations and, and, and help protect the resource that I've grown to love. And, and hopefully um, through doing these things, uh, there'll still be this resource for, for my kids in the future. And, and for them to enjoy.